welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making chocolate fudge. Um, this is one of my favourites. It's a really easy recipe. Um, it makes it up in just a jiffy. So it's really fantastic to have for kids' birthday parties. Um, it's really great as a school fundraiser. Um, if you're looking for a, a quick recipe that will produce something really delicious and scrummy um, and will sell quite well, um, this is your go-to recipe. Um, it has been my go-to recipe over the years, um, especially when the kids were little and we were having children's birthday parties and um, they needed something to put in the loop bag. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to run through the ingredients. It's really, really simple. Um, evaporated milk, um, chocolate. If you wanted to do chocolate, you can just omit that and have it as vanilla, but um, I love chocolate fudge. Um, butter and um, caster sugar. Um, okay, so we're going to get started and the first thing that we need to do is um, pop in our caster sugar into um, quite a nice big glass um, dish because this is going to go into the microwave. Um, so I've got 300 grams of caster sugar going in there. Um, I've got 50 grams of butter going in with the sugar. And I've also got um, the evaporated milk. Just going to give that a shake up. And we need 200 mils of the evaporated milk. Okay, so that's 200 mils and that's going in there with the um, caster sugar and the butter. Okay, so those are the three ingredients that we need at this stage. Now I'm going to pop this into the microwave oven and it's going to cook between 10 and 15 minutes or until it reaches the soft ball stage. Um, now I've made this many times and I know what works for me. Um, I put this into the microwave for 3 minutes at 800 watts and after 3 minutes I give it a good stir, pop it back in again and cook it at 800 watts for a further 9 minutes. So that's a total of 12 minutes all up. Okay, so let's get on with that. Okay, so after three minutes, just give it a good stir. We just want to combine all of the butter and the sugar um, just to make sure that it's all loosened from the bottom and um, nicely combined. And while we're waiting for the microwave to work its magic and turn that lovely mixture into fudge, um, we're going to get the chocolate ready. So just roughly cut up the chocolate um, into small pieces or break it up, that's absolutely fine. We also need to prepare the container that the fudge is going to go into once it's finished cooking. And I'm just using a glass loaf dish. Um, I've greased it with butter and I've just lined it with a little bit of baking paper. But you can use any tin or any container that you want. I've used a long, narrow loaf dish so that I can get um, really high, chunky pieces of fudge and I think that that makes a really good mouthful. It's come out of the microwave oven now and you can see it's been on a really good roll and boil, which has been lovely. Um, now, we just need to add the chocolate so I'm just going to pop that in, and also a teaspoon of vanilla essence or whatever um, flavour you want, I, I like vanilla with chocolate. And then really it's a matter of beating it. Now we need to beat that um, until the mixture cools down a little bit. So, and also it provides a really good, lovely um, consistency. We want that smooth, luscious, unctuous kind of um, taste of chocolate fudge when you put it in your mouth, it just tastes so lovely. And I think that the secret to that is in the beating. Now I'm going to beat this for a good five minutes until it's really nice and cool. Um, I might go out into the garden and sit out there for a wee while and, and beat it. Um, but don't stop beating until you are ready to pop it into your uh, container for setting. We don't want it to set in the bowl. <laughs> okay, I 
I've been beating that for five minutes now and it's gone lovely and thick. Now we need to pop it into the container. So I'm just, just patting it down just to get the right shape. Just going to make it, it won't go right to the end of this container, so I'm just going to square it off a little bit. Okay, so there's my um, chocolate fudge all ready uh, to set. I'm going to pop that now into the fridge for a good hour. Okay, so that's nice and cool, and really it's just a matter of popping it out. So that's come out as a nice thick piece, very nice and um, chunky. So there's my chocolate fudge all cut up and ready to eat. Store it in the fridge until you want to serve it. And um, hey, I hope that you'll try it sometime. Thanks for watching and um, see you back again here next time.